Good evening, as well as Tarkins here with another video comparison. This time it's with the Westmoreland, uh, one of my favourite barber designs of all time. Uh, I, wore my, I wear mine constantly when it's warmer. It's a bit too warm to wear sleeves, but I actually still want to wear a wax jacket. Go for the Westmoreland. Um, I'm going to be comparing the original Westmoreland here um, in a sage colour to the new Westmoreland in olive. Uh, I'll go through the pros and cons of each different designs, features, um, different quirks, um, some things I like about both, some things I don't like about both. Um, we can chat and go through some things. The original uh, came out with two crests, um, I believe, I'm not sure, uh, I believe the uh, sort of eight, late 80s, early 90s is when the first was sort of came to light. Uh, but most likely probably the late 80s. Uh, it comes with two pockets, um, it's essentially a barber bedale uh, with a small sort of mandarin style collar uh, with a corduroy lining and someone's dropped the sleeves off. Um, it's the same, same sort of midsection as a barber bedale which is really cool. So you have that same two way zip, easy with gloves, straight on. No, one thing, to know about, one thing I like about barber zips is that they just, they just work, they don't mess up, I've never had anyone any of mine break and I've beaten mine to the ground. Um, a bit stiff, the other ones, but as with age, everything gets a little bit stiffer. The best one comes with five poppers. Yeah, so they go all the way up to the top. The new one comes with six and with a higher collar, which is, I think, really quite nice. The collar here is just a small, as you can see, just a small little piece of fabric, corduroy lined, put my barber pin on here. Um, doesn't get in the way, keeps you nice and dry, um, if you have a scarf on, it would be better if this bit closed up as well, or has a little storm flap, you can just velcro down, but you can't have it all. has a faux leather shoulder protection sort of thing, reinforcement is the right word here. Uh, two hand warmer pockets, small skin lined, two bellow pockets, with black uh, brass poppers and two vents on the side here uh, with double poppers and gussets as well, just like a beadle. Um The originals came in navy and sage. The sage comes with the came with the dress gordon tartan lining with a tonal drip strip on the bottom and the navy came with the red, white and blue tartan lining with a, a blue uh, strip strip. They're really, really cool jackets. Very versatile. They'll go with anything. Um, I wear them over my Musto rugby shirt. So I wear them with a over a shirt in the springtime when it's just a little bit too cold for a jacket. Um, so it's a bit too warm for a jacket and too cold not to wear anything. Um, all the way to wearing a jumper just like this one here, um, a three quarter zip or a nice crew neck. They work really, really well. You just can't, you just can't go wrong. They're fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely love them. And again, just like the Beedle has a one internal pocket here with a Velcro fastening. Um, you can't have a lining with this, unfortunately, but they are very lightly padded. Uh, got the nylon wadding inside, um, and mine has had a fair few very amateur repairs by me. Um, I was at Chart One in September, I had the Hansman pockets, and all of a sudden the pocket gave way, and the whole thing came out like that. Um, not great, but it is a, I want to say, 20 odd, 20 year old jacket, maybe. Um, it's going to have some issues, so I'm going to have some that's back to barb, I'm afraid, for a new front panel, I believe. Um, don't want to get a new one, I absolutely love it. The new one, I'll put this back on. The same six ounce wax cotton um, in olive, this one, but this is silk coil, and this one's thorn proof. But you re wax it with thorn proof anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it has your, obviously your pockets here, your hand warmers, you have six brass poppers and a two-way zip. Um, the wire on the zip, the new one has a small zip, um, just like the jumper, whereas the old one has the big ring pull. Um, so I'm not sure why they've made that smaller and everything else bigger. Um, something that barber design team would have to answer. Um, if anyone knows the answer, let me know. It'd be good to, it'd be good to you know, know for general knowledge. It's a high collar thanks to this extra um, popper up here, which just like on this one, 
I just like I said earlier on on this one, I wish it had uh, just keep that extra bit of uh, you know get the elements out, just an extra bit of warmth at the top. Thick of corduroy collar and very luxurious, almost like a velvet. The front pockets actually, while I'm here, are bigger than the old one. It's almost like it's the same size as a border. I think it's a quite a large front pocket on here. Um, bigger hand warmers as well, more sort of moleskin inside, very, very luxurious. No vents on the back of this one, but you do have your waist suppression here as well. Um, I like to have mine on the second. Just a bit of extra sort of bit of suppression here. Triple stitching here, also quadruple stitching here on the shoulders with extra protection, but no um, reinforcement with faux leather. You've got a little barber tag here, which is quite a nice touch. And open the, open the jacket up, just like the original. Let's bring this closer. And you have your tartan lining, the classic tartan, um, which is barber uses, just like on the jumper here. Um, you have your pocket on the left hand side with the Velcro, um, as they've added a zipper closed pocket on the right. And just here as well, this is a little bit of Velcro, you have an in internal pocket, just like a, on, a, um, on a border in Northumbria. So I'm that's what little partridges or little, you know, little fowl um, does get all your pockets all bloody and everything like that. So this one has single stitching on the shoulder. The original has double stitching. So there are pros for the, the pros for the new one are everything is better designed. Um, they've had years to perfect it, so it's not their first go. Um, extra collar length, which is really nice, really handy. Keeps the elements out. Thicker padding, I believe, in this one as well. Very quite nice, nicely made. You have your silk coil, which just feels lighter to the touch. They're both the same ounce, but the silk coil finish is a smoother finish than thorn proof. This is a very, it's a very rough, sort of very sort of rugged uh, finish. Where silk coil is a little bit more, a bit more elegant, I believe. But it does get fuzzy. It gets fuzzier. It attracts lint more than anything, um, and it doesn't have the smell as the thorn proof. The old barber smell is that, and you know, in your your dad's old barber is that. Is the thorn proof just like this? It's euphoric. Um, the silk coil off the bat doesn't have it. You need to rewax it over time to get the smell. My Beaufort, I've had for two years, I've rewaxed it about five times. It's only just getting that smell now. It's the thorn proof wax, is the secret to that old, the old world barber smell that everyone loves. If I take this off and show you the labels. You can see the new Barber logo here. Nice and it's like a creamy colour. You've got your, the original Barber Tartan, original and authentic tag here, size large. Now this is a size medium. The original is a size medium and the new one uh, here is a size large. It fits similar. It's the medium is too slim for me in a in the new one. Um, you wouldn't be um, put in prison really for thinking that. If you go for a medium in this, you go for medium in that. It's not the case. I would size up just because of it, it is a little bit trimmer. Um, it is a little bit more modern fitting. It's not as a, not as boxy. I found that the new one fit great in the chest, but too tight sort of in the waist downwards, so to speak. So I had to size up and this fits great. A little bit baggy for me personally in the waist, but you've got those waist suppressions here, which brings it and it's absolutely perfect. I'll take this. Chuck this over here. I'll put this on comparison. Now, off, right off the gate, it feels like this feels better to me than the original. Um, and I actually love that, but this just feels a little bit more cozier, feels better designed for the modern body. As you can see, it's a little bit longer more of a natural coat as well so it's the same sort of size as a as a regular suit jacket so if you wear a, a, a regular in the suit this is perfect nice big pockets as you can see it comes with the new barber pin so your choice is to wear it or not some people don't like to wear it but wear what you like and just be happy as you can see here if i do this up 
can sort of see how small this ring pull is compared to the others. Nice big zippers, big poppers. And if I go all the way up here, you can see how much more, where is it? Here. How much more space you can get for this collar. Really effective. Really goes all the way up to the back of the neck. Really solid, really locks in everything here. It reminds you of my Tokito, where the whole thing just locks around your neck. As you can see, nice, just fits really well. A bit loose around here, nice at the chest, but you wear these for you can wear these for layering, you can wear it for however you want. So it just just looks a little bit cooler with this bigger with this bigger collar. And I like a collar, and um, I like to wear shirts with collars, and I like to wear jumpers with collars, so a jacket with a, with a big collar as well to cover everything, really cool. And it goes with everything, it really does. Um, they only come in, in this olive colour, I'm not sure if they will be coming out with any other colours at the moment, but it would be cool to have the sage green or a brown, or one of those rustic browns. But I'm happy with, happy with olive for the moment. No pocket here, uh, but you have them inside, uh, so you don't really need it. This is a great coat. Um, barber in here as well, sort of embroidered as you are. Oh, you guys, you all know anyway. Nice and tonal, you can't see it. Not a fan of the neons, not a fan of that anyway, but you can't see it after being re-waxed anyway. Very, very comfortable. Very comfortable coat. Um, I wish I could say this was mine, but this was lent to me by a friend John over at County Clothes. I'll link everything down below. Um, very, very nice man, very lovely company. Um, he kind of lent this to me to do a comparison between old and new. Um, hopefully we'll get some more in from County Clothes at some point, so keep an eye out for that. Check them out on Instagram and their website. Very lovely people, known them for years. And this is the Westmoreland. Not much else to say about it. After all, it is just a waistcoat or a wax and gilet, however you want to say it. Body warmer, gillet, or gilet, or yilet. Um, as everything, it's just all subjective. So here we are, the two Westmorelands. Which one do you like? I prefer the original, um, just because it's all the original, but the new one, I say that, I prefer, I prefer the new one just because it just feels so much nicer. Uh, the original, you can't be beaten but I will probably retire this and buy one of these at some stage uh, anyway, because you know, they're running out, they're getting desirable. But again, Westmoreland um, by Barber. You go check them out on County Clothes, retailing for 149 and absolutely fantastic. And if you think about it, the B-Dells, they're 100 pounds more. I just wear a bigger jumper, it's the same coat. You can still be as warm. So they keep an eye out for the next one. The next one will be the quilts. So I'll have the lower dale, um, Hopefully, if I get a lower dale, the Eskdale, Countryman, Liddersdale, um, any other quilts I can find. I've got a couple of flyweights. Big comparison, long video of going through everything in history and all quilts. It's going to be a, a, people like quilts and more than likes at times. So, 